the art of not being perfect. What does that mean? Well, think of yourself as wearing another person's shoes. Now, it might be your size, the shoe might fit, but think about how well it would fit. You know, somebody wears shoes and they, they wear out the arches and they wear out the sides and they supinate and stuff like that. So even though you're to put on a pair of shoes that's exactly your size that you think will fit, it will feel it won't feel quite right it won't feel quite as comfortable as as you would like that's kind of like what we do in life when we are trying to perfect ourselves always trying to be perfect always trying to follow the lead of somebody else kind of like posers right we're trying to uh be somebody who we're not truly i mean we we can fake something so far where we can, you know, try to be like somebody else. And we're going through the motions. We look like somebody else. We act like somebody else. But deep down, there's something inside of us that doesn't quite feel right. It's almost like the shoe that doesn't quite fit. It's kind of like Barbie dolls. <laughs> Barbie dolls, they look perfect on the outside. But if you really look at them, they're very... uh they're very disproportioned like in size, like they're not true to what a human would be. So, you know, the, the trying to be perfect mentality or being like everybody else, it's, um, it's kind of like a, uh, an unending cycle for yourself. So you have to follow your own path in life. You really do. And it's moments where we feel like our lives are falling apart or we feel like things are not going our way or we feel like we're at the bottom where things open up and we shift to something greater. It's in those crappiest moments in our lives where the biggest change tends to happen. Most more amazing things happen because when we're feeling low, we're feeling very vulnerable. But at the same time, when we're feeling very vulnerable, we are the most authentic selves that we can be. We are so true to ourselves because we've canceled out the ego and what the ego wants to always, you know, wants to try and make us perfect, this perfect mentality. I need to be skinny. I need to be, um, have money. I need to be well liked i need to be pretty i need to be beautiful i need to you know um, be stable i need to be happy all the time i need to have these things around me but it's when we feel really low and really vulnerable is where the authentic self comes out and people like to see other people being authentic we are scared to be authentic but we always, if you think about it, it's, it's weird. It's, it's very ironic. We are scared to be completely authentic to ourselves because we don't want to show those more vulnerable parts of ourselves. But at the same time, that's what invites people in because it shows people we're human. So if you think about yourself, if you were to watch something, um, watch like a YouTube video or something, and you're watching somebody who's very fake, who's very, who's very polished, who's very perfect. You could probably pick up on that. You could be entertained. But if you were to watch another video of somebody who's opening up their heart and very authentic and raw, unedited type of stuff, I think that second video would probably hit you more here in the heart. It would probably feel, you would probably feel more from it because you could relate to it a little bit more rather than the first one you could be entertained and then you know but you're not going to feel connected to the person whereas if somebody's more open and vulnerable and sharing something that is um, maybe a little uncomfortable you feel that you feel that connection because it's all about being human we need that connection so think about that Put in perspective for yourself. The next time you feel you feel like you're scared to open up about something or you're scared of, of being vulnerable or showing 
kind of darker sides of yourself, the more, um, you know, the parts of yourself that, uh, that aren't so polished, the unedited version of yourself, the parts that, um, that make mistakes, the parts that aren't perfect, the parts that are blemished, because that's real. That's who you are. That's your authentic self. So before you try following in other people's shoes and wearing the wrong, you know, the wrong arch support, you have to find your own way. Find your own support within you and bring that out of you. And, um, and that's where you will be the most real to you and the real to everybody around you. So with that being said, perfect the art of imperfection. Have a great day and I will see you on tomorrow's video. Peace.